Thank you for coming to MTG Anonymous, your daily source for random free-to-play decks on MTG Arena. I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe whenever you get the chance. Also, feel free to watch any other content that I've produced. I'll see you in the video. Alrighty, welcome to MTG Anonymous. So, we're going to be playing that Mono Blue Artifacts deck we went over. Wow, this music is a lot louder than it should be. I already turned it down twice. So, uh, we'll, uh... There we go, now that we get into the settings. Uh, audio. Oh, that's considered sound effects. Okay, well, that explains it. Alright, we've got some pretty good stuff in the hand, so we're gonna keep. Submit. We're gonna be playing stuff on our opponent's turn. And there we go with that. <laughs> so, of course, the first thing we go against is Mono Red. Resolve. Turn. Next. This is actually real annoying to go against. Play this. See, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the removal out of their hand, and so then I can play Emery and not have to worry about it. Uh, three drop. We're gonna keep that on top, because we actually want that. Resolve. Pass. Block both. Block. Pass. Alrighty. Do they play something? Play, Emery. They can counter if they want. We have another one, so... There we go. We got some stuff. Done. Get the castle out. No attacks. Win turn. So, lucky us, we can play anything we want on their turn. So. Resolve. As they go destroying stuff, since we only have three, we're gonna play the Steel Overseer, and then we're gonna make these bigger as we go. Pass. Pass. Block. Pass. Not sure what that's about, but okay. <laughs> oh, because I'd have killed it with Emery. I didn't think about that. They done? My turn. Let's get stuff out of my hand. If I had a one drop, I'd grab it from my graveyard instead of playing it from my hand, but... Come on! That's all. Okay. That's fine. I can just grab it again with Emery, so... That's all. That's funny. Because <laughs> I'm just going to grab it again. Uh, Witching Well. God, Pharaoh's gift we can't use. Prison mine, I don't want. I want to land. My turn. Corridor Mentor, so. I actually don't like doing it like this. So we'll wait until their turn. This is kind of funny. <laughs> so they're going to try to use some removal eventually. Which I, uh, doesn't matter to me. Resolve. Pass. Block these two. Yep, yeah, go ahead and draw a card. Resolve. Resolve. 
dissolve again. Ugh. So I think what they're going to try to do is try to make this big and kill the puppet, but the puppet's going to go exile anyway. So hopefully they got some good. And then Emery's in our hand, so we'll be able to play her again if she were to die. So let's exile. Pass. Yep, that's how that works. End your turn. Tap, Emery. Choose the Overseer. Play the Overseer. Go ahead and counter it. Resolve. It actually doesn't bother me as much as they think, because they're going to keep wasting counter spells on the same creature over and over again. Resolve. My turn. Ginger Brute. So, we'll go ahead and get that out, actually. But I want to start dealing some damage. In turn. So, let's see what they got. Pass turn. Block with the puppet. They're gonna have some combat trick. No combat trick? Weird. Okay. Tap Emery again. Grab the Steel Overseer. Play the Steel Overseer. Counter it. What are they dealing two damage to? Oh, they're countering it. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> Resolve. This actually still doesn't bother me. Play the island. See, that's what we wanted. So I can tap and get the Steel Overseer again. They only have one mana. Ah, that's not what I meant to press. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, we got it, so next. Attack with the Ginger Brute. Block with Scorch Pitcher, Spitter if you want. We're just gonna keep chipping. Next. End turn. So Hinge Walker's gonna block that Burning Prophet this time. I did not mean to tap Emery. Or, well, play the Hinge Walker. I meant to grab the Steel Overseer. But, regardless, we got a 3-3. So, uh, what we're going to do is, if we can ever get the Steel Overseer out, I'll be happy. Resolve. Pass. Block that one. Block there. Block. You got some good? Resolve. That I don't care about. I'll actually let it die, and then I'll just grab it again with the uh, Emery. So. Resolve. Actually don't need the 1-1 this time. They must have... They've got to have a creature in their hand, the way they're playing this. Okay. That was actually good. Resolve. That was a good play. Uh, we can grab the Steel Overseer this time. Well, they're just going to try to kill it again, actually, now that I think about it. I would have killed Emery, and not that, but whatever. My turn. Two Corridor, so I can do two. Well, actually, I can only do one, because I only have enough mana for one, so... Grab the Overseer. Play the Overseer. Next. Swing with the Ginger Brute. In my turn. So, this deck is real grindy. <laughs> it's gonna take quite a while. 
Uh, but Ginger Brute will get bigger next turn, so. Hey, there you go. That's a good card. It ain't winning you the game. Not like that, anyway. But resolve. I'll let that swing come in. Pass. Resolve. Resolve. Pass. Block there. 1-1. One, one. Resolve. Don't care. <laughs> You're doing that to a... That doesn't matter at all. Mm. My turn. Play the land. We're gonna, so, for this one you have to do uh, full control. Play the corridor. Resolve. Target the steel overseer. Submit. Hold the resolve. Tap the overseer. Resolve. I did this wrong, so I could have played the other corridor too. Resolve. Play the corridor, mentor. Resolve. Untap the steel overseer. Submit. Tap the steel overseer. Resolve. Resolve. Tap the steel overseer again. Resolve. We're, we're done with full control now. Next, swing with the ginger brute. Resolve. In turn. So, now let's see what they got. Because they'll need two removal spells for Steel Overseer. And then I still have corridor, both the corridor and towards. So, pass. Resolve. Resolve. Pass. So, block that with the biggest and block this with the second biggest. Pass. That's, uh, real interesting that they would choose to attack like that. But, whatever. It's none of my business. Resolve. Resolve. Tap. Let's grab the Inquisitive Puppet. Play the Puppet. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. It's my turn. Play the Island. Tap the Overseer. Next. Next. Let's make it so they got a block. If they don't block, we win. So. spell. <laughs> In turn. If they have a burn spell, we lose. But if they don't, then we win. So Let's see how this goes. I haven't seen any direct burn or any direct damage spells. So, And we don't have to cast anything else to win. We'll tap the Steel Overseer, make everything bigger, swing all out. In the game. 15 minutes <laughs> in one game? That's long and grindy. <laughs> Pass. I have no flyers, so that gets through. Resolve. Lucky for me, that doesn't draw. <laughs> oh, man. Resolve. Pass. Pass. 
What you got? No, they got it. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, man, that was, this is a fun game. I'm just going to go ahead and end this off. Tap that, make it everything bigger. Next, all attack. There we go. Good game. <laughs> oh, man, that was scary. We're in silver, too, BT dubs. It's, uh... Hey, we got a packet of Throat Ale Drain. I might as well go ahead and crack that open. I ain't got nothing else going on. That was a long game, so we're just <laughs> gonna use that one as an example. What'd we get? Uh, True Love's Kiss, two, a white and a white, exile target, artifact or enchantment, draw a card. Rep and wet, weapon rack, four, and uh, plus one, plus one counters on it, move a plus one, plus one counter from it to a target creature. Activate this only any time you get cast a sorcery. Moonlight Scavengers, 5 and a blue. When enters the battlefield, if you control an artifact or enchantment, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Roving Keeper, 7. It's a 5 7. The Wall Defender, for 7. Gets plus 2, plus 0. Gains trample to the end of turn and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Four bo uh, Foreboding Fruit, 2 and a black. Target, creature, uh, target player draws 2 cards and loses 2 life. If three black was spent on the spell, create a food token. Glass casket for one and a white. Enters the battlefield target. Uh, exile target creature and opponent controls with converted mana cost three or less until it leaves the battlefield. Turn into pumpkin. Three and a blue. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Draw a card. If three blue was spent to cast it, create a food token. And sorcerer spyglass. For two, as it enters the battlefield, look at an opponent's hand, then choose any card name. Activate abilities of sources with the chosen name. Can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. That's it for this video. I don't like playing, doing long gameplay videos. So, if you liked the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. That'll help us out a lot. I'll see you later.